Hi, I'm Renee Ng, your host for Common Sense. In today's episode, we explore Niner Bikes, a company that designs and manufactures mountain bikes. In fact, I'm riding a Niner bike right here. Find out how this company demonstrates passion and commitment in its products while operating a virtual office out of Torrance. Join me for the ride. By all accounts, Chris Sugai was already a successful entrepreneur. He launched a commercial window tinting business while in college and turned it into a self-run business. But in 2004, he decided to pursue his passion. At the time, I told my wife, you know, I want to do something that uh, I'm passionate about. And, and you always read in books, you know, do something you love, you never work a day in your life. So uh, I went out to pursue uh, a new career in either poker, Formula One, or in mountain biking. Focusing on his passion for mountain biking, Chris was already using a bike with a 26-inch wheelbase, which was the norm in the industry. He decided to try something different. I started riding a 29, and all of a sudden I started passing these guys just going uphill that I could never pass before, and then all of a sudden I'm keeping up with the faster guys going downhill. So I thought, okay, well, my riding skills haven't improved that much, so it must be the bike. For the past two decades, the 26-inch wheel has been the mountain bike standard. But about 10 years ago, a few manufacturers began making a slightly larger wheel. Chris began riding a 29-inch wheel bike more frequently and started to see the differences. The more I rode it, the more I saw the advantages of the wheel. And uh, to me, it just seemed like a slap in the face improvement. So uh, that was sort of your light bulb moment for me to, um, to start, you know, start a company around these. But he ran into a problem in his search for more 29-inch wheel bikes on the market. He found either really cheap or really expensive models. There's nothing sort of in between, so that's sort of how we formed Niner. Chris initially launched the company out of Canoga Park and designed and manufactured his first 29-inch bike, which sparked a revolution of sorts in the cycling industry. Stay with us after this short break to find out more about this and the first Niner bike on the market. Behind the wheel, there is no such thing as a small distraction. A public service reminder from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Speak out against distracted driving at decidetodrive.org. Join us this fall at Step Out, Walk to Stop Diabetes. Bring your friends, family, and coworkers to walk with thousands of people from across the country and help us change the future of diabetes. The money you raise will make a difference. Together, we can stop diabetes one step at a time. Register today at 1-888-DIABETES or visit diabetes.org slash step out. Welcome back to Common Sense. In today's segment, we're profiling a local business called Niner Bikes. They design and manufacture high-end mountain bikes. President and founder Chris Sugai launched the company in 2005 and moved it to Torrance in 2011. Going against the grain, he produced frames for the 29-inch wheel versus the standard 26-inch. There were about four to five companies that were actually manufacturing 29ers. Now, basically, every company that makes a mountain bike worldwide now makes a 29er. Chris released his first frame called the Niner 19 model, which is a hardtail and doesn't have any rear suspension. Hardtails are ideal for off-road trails, single tracks, and racing. The most common ones are, are what are called a hardtail, where the rear end is fixed. This is a hardtail here. And then it comes in two varieties, one with a rigid fork and then one with a suspension fork where the front end has. The other type of mountain bike frame they offer is full suspension, where both the back and front have suspension. In fact, Niner Bikes has their own patented CVA suspension design, or constantly varying arc. This technology accommodates a more efficient pedal stroke and allows the rear wheel to absorb bumps without any feedback into the pedals. The Niner Jet 9 RDO model is an example of that here. Niner Bikes also offers their frames in a variety of materials, 
tailoring to the different customer needs. In hardtails, we have them made in aluminum. We have them made in a boutique type of steel, and then we have them made in carbon fiber. And then they come in a number of flavors as far as price points and uh, uh, what they can do. And then in full suspension, we do the same thing. They currently have 13 different models. Fortunately, everyone who works at Niner Bikes is a mountain bike rider. And Chris welcomes everyone's feedback and ideas. We normally have a sit-down meeting with uh, quite a bit of the staff and we talk about new projects and we get input from everybody. The staff decides on key points of the frame and then the design process begins in their Fort Collins, Colorado office. Models are initially designed using special computer software. We can put a mock fork in here and a mock rider and then we can actually put the frame under stress and it'll highlight in colors where the stress is on the frame. After the design is finalized, paint schemes are also determined and we will talk about the different paint schemes and look at them and, and then try to decide which one we think is best. Now, there was a series of like 10 different photos of this and we went through different colors, different mat what's called maskings, mm -hmm. and then we come up with this design. Engineers also test for strength and safety. In fact, Chris offered to show us how he tests the bikes. Today I want to go over our new carbon liner fork and show you a very graphic example about how strong carbon fiber can be against trail side damage. So here we have our Niner Carbon Fork with a hub installed. This is a 16 ounce hammer and I will briefly show you how As you can see there are chips in the paint from the impact but you can see that the carbon layers have not been punctured or cracked. Niner bikes also take into account rider feedback. We take seriously rider feedback. So even after we spent four hours deciding where to put their water bottle bolts, uh, we found out, for instance, on extra large frame that people that are tall, it was a little too far for them to reach, so we had to move that up. After the product is finalized, it is manufactured at a factory in Taiwan. The total time from planning to final product is 12 to 18 months. Niner's mission is basically to build you know, high-end mountain bikes for avid riders. And uh, so, you know, we've been very careful at selecting manufacturers that have those same values within their manufacturing facilities. The best part about the final product is that customers can fit the frame with pedals or handlebars of their choice. In fact, some fans of Niner Bikes love taking apart and assembling bikes from scratch. A Niner Bike technician shows us how it's done. So far, we've learned that Niner is not only known for their unique 29-inch bikes, but also for the way they operate their business. Find out more after this short break. As we recognize the service of America's men and women in uniform, let's also honor the families who sacrifice so much every day. As the service member serves, so does the family. Do you really want to honor a veteran? Look for ways to support their families and thank them for their sacrifices. Go to legion.org slash honor veterans to find out how you can help. When I was younger, I didn't want to admit I had a serious disease. Because of my diabetes, I lost the sight in my left eye. Misconceptions continue to surround this monster public health issue. But the simple truth is, diabetes can often be prevented and complications avoided. You're not alone. Understand the realities of diabetes and know that you can manage it and lead a full, active life. Welcome back to Common Sense, where we're taking a look at Niner Bikes, a Torrance-based company specializing in 29-inch mountain bikes. 
The company moved its headquarters to Torrance in 2011 and employs 20 workers that work virtually around the world. When I started Niner, at the time I, I had my other company and it was running well, so I thought, well, I can take, I can take a chance. I can try all these new things that you hear about management-wise and, and computing-wise and, and uh, see what happens. Chris virtually took a chance and tried something different. He based the company operations on cloud computing. We invested heavily in cloud computing. We use a software called NetSuite to run our operations. And uh, it's basically based on the cloud. Uh, and then our files are also uh, stored in the cloud as well. Niner Bikes handles mostly administration and accounting in their Torrance office, but uses cloud computing in working with their other offices, which are based in Colorado, Utah, and Taiwan. All employees need are an internet connection, preferably high speed. It makes it really nice to have this type of what's called a virtual company in that um, it allows the flexibility in being able to hire people because you don't have to have everybody in a fixed location in order for people to be able to work and communicate. The flexibility of cloud computing combined with video conferencing tools such as Skype allows the staff members to work flexible hours. There are actually no posted hours for anybody in the company, so basically people are allowed to come and go as they please. Chris trusts employees to get their work done on time. The aspect of trust is very important in selecting members to be on the Niner team, as well as passion for the sport. We're a passionate group of cyclists that you know care about how the bikes are made. Uh, we want to design bikes that we feel meets the needs of avid mountain bike riders now and in the future, and uh, that's sort of what we want to be known for. This is reflected in company outings as well. Just last year, Chris held a company retreat where staff members went for a mountain biking retreat. We took everybody for a four-day vacation to Moab, Utah, and uh, we, we slept in tents and we went riding every day, uh, but it was, and it was a lot of fun. We had, it was a great bonding experience. Niner's passion for the sport is reflected in their longevity as they have outlasted competitors and experienced phenomenal growth. They earned almost $10 million in revenue last year. What's amazing is the year before we were under six million and the year before that was half of that again. So if you think of that growth pattern, it's, it's amazing. Niner Bikes ranked 500 out of 5,000 companies in Inc. Magazine's 2011 list of fastest growing companies. They were also selected as one of America's most promising businesses by Forbes Magazine in the December 2011 issue. And while their bikes cost upwards of $2,000, they still managed to sell just under 10,000 units over the last year, achieving double-digit growth. Who's buying bikes? Well, it's the kind of person that it's not the first bike, uh, and it's probably not their only bike. It's probably their third or fourth bike in their garage. The U.S. market makes up about one-third of sales, while overseas sales account for the other two-thirds. Europe is a large chunk of that, and Niner hopes to take advantage of sales when European mountain bikers shift over to the 29-inch wheelbase. So we believe that's the next big, the next big wave. We were there for America when it shifted over to 29. We want to be there for Europe as well. Given its promising track record, though, it doesn't mean it's easy riding from here. A growing company is, is successful, but the the implications for capitalization are really intense. So uh, it's a fun challenge. Securing additional funds is the next challenge, and Niner hopes to grow by another 40% this year, and they believe that their growth is sustainable. I believe it is. I believe the, the space will get more crowded, but the, the brand is out there and is positioned perfectly. Niner's customers also play a large part in their success. Stay with us after this break to find out more about the company's fan following. George, it's a great deal. Only used a couple of times, and it gets great parsecs for very little dilithium crystals. Well, I appreciate the offer, but what I really need is information about Social Security. How do I find out what my monthly payment will be? Online. Uh, how about if I just want Medicare? Online. Oh, my. We'll boldly go to socialsecurity.gov. Let's go kick the tires. From Maine to Maui, thousands of high school students across the country are getting in on the action by volunteering in their communities. Action teams of high school students are joining Volunteers of America and Major League Baseball players to help train and inspire the next generation of volunteers. It's easy to start an action team at your school, so you too can get in on the action. 
Are you in? Get in on the action at actionteam.org. Welcome back to Common Sense. Passion and commitment not only describe those who work at Niner Bikes, but those who buy the bikes as well. In fact, the riders had a large amount of input when the company first started and still do. A Niner brand manager attests to this from the Utah office. They basically launched the company online on a, on a forum, you know, with a few ads and, and some conversation in, in, in the chat room. When Niner first launched in 2005, they posted an MTBR, which is an online messaging board for the mountain bike community. As the company grew, Niner advertised and sponsored portions of the forums and have gained valuable feedback from riders on their products. Niner Bikes also show their products at trade shows and industry events such as Dirt 